Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is designed to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. However, its development has been plagued by long-term issues and a series of delays, leaving the project several years behind schedule. The spacecraft has already conducted two unmanned test flights and is now preparing for a test mission with humans on board for the first time. The launch of the Manned Crew Flight Test, or CFT mission, was tentatively scheduled for July 21st, but that option was finally ruled out on June 1st. NASA hastily convened a press conference on that date to announce the new information. In recent weeks, for example, a faulty valve has been replaced, but there are still unresolved issues. The launch of the first manned Starliner has to be postponed for two main reasons. The first problem relates to the parachute system, where the margins of the various parameters need to be reassessed. The second problem is more discreet at first glance. It concerns the adhesive tape used to wrap the cables to prevent them from being rubbed. Although this tape is commonly used in aerospace, NASA has higher safety requirements for manned missions. The agency is concerned that the adhesive components of the tape could be flammable. It will therefore be necessary to investigate under what conditions these tapes could ignite. It is therefore certain that the launch in July will not take place. A new launch date has not yet been set, but according to a Boeing representative, a launch this year is still feasible. The reality is thus diametrically opposed to the original expectations. When NASA decided in 2014 that astronauts would be transported to the ISS by Boeing and SpaceX, the expectation was clear. Boeing, as an established company with decades of experience developing space technology, was expected to be a sure thing. Not much was expected of SpaceX at the time, and the then-fledgling company did not have that confidence. And what is the situation today? SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft first flew with a crew three years ago, and has transported a total of 38 people into orbit since then. Boeing's Starliner, on the other hand, is still awaiting its first manned mission. Thank you for watching today's episode of Spaceflight News. If this is your first time watching our show, let me invite you to visit our Twitter for all sorts of information about the latest developments in aerospace.